I was 14 years old when the soldiers took me. I was at the river with my friends when it happened. James was a good son. He used to go fishing after school with his friends to get food for us. They told me, fight for us or die. I'll never forget the last day you went fishing. I tried to escape and run away, but they stopped me. After that, they didn't trust me. They forced me to be their soldier. I had to fight against my own people. I closed my eyes every time I had to fire. I didn't want to hit someone from my village. It was so hard, not knowing where he was. Not knowing whether he was dead or alive. For six months I had to fight. I saw many children die. My freedom only came when I was shot and left for dead. We had a funeral without a body to bury. But I wasn't crying. It couldn't be true. I lay in the long grass alone and slowly dying. Two days passed before I was found. I woke up in a hospital in Juba. Alive, but far from home. It's been three years since that day at the river. The day I thought I'd never see my mother again. But my fight was now over. My boy was finally home. 